What's up guys? Today's video is a little peek into my new sketchbook. This video kind of goes along with the one I posted a few days ago, just talking about the idea that sometimes you just need to stop thinking and do. And in my case, something that I do all the time is I scroll online for inspiration and I get sucked down the rabbit hole of Pinterest and Instagram and I'll just look at so much beautiful art and think, okay, in like a few minutes I'll start sketching and you know, two hours later I've done nothing but pin a bunch of cool stuff and comment on a bunch of Instagram posts. <laughs> So I'm using this sketchbook as an excuse to skip all of that and just force myself to get into a better habit of sketching. And I thought it would be fun to take you along that journey. So I'll post sketching videos here and there between all my other painting videos. And I hope that you guys enjoy watching the process and I'll also try to talk through some of my thoughts when I'm sketching. Okay. For those of you who are interested in learning landscape drawing, I have a big series of tutorials coming. On May 1st, I'll be releasing the first video in the series, and that vi video is all about painting and drawing rocks. And after that, we'll go through trees and other plants and then elements like water. So it'll be a really comprehensive series, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that when it comes out. But let's get back to sketching. Let's talk a little bit more about that idea I mentioned earlier. Stop thinking about drawing and just draw. This is something I've been forced to think about lately because 
I caught myself on three separate occasions thinking about drawing, but not actually ever picking up my pencil and paper. Now, sometimes it's okay to do that because we might be thinking about bigger concepts or working through some kind of strategy in our mind that requires extra thinking. But other times it is purely just an excuse or a way for us to feel like we're being productive but not actually do anything. So in a way, it's a form of laziness. And for me, as a full-time artist, that is absolutely not okay because my art is my livelihood. I have to keep improving and working on new things. I'm okay with it if it's outside my work schedule, but a lot of times I use my downtime to do some of my sketching and those are the hours that I have a lot of fun, but I learn a ton just by getting that pencil on the paper. So yes, I give myself a break here and there, but a lot of times I have to be aware and recognize when I'm just being lazy. And I honestly don't consider myself a lazy person. I basically work all day, every day. I rarely take a day off and not even weekends. So maybe lazy isn't the right word for it. I think apprehension might be a better word. And I think part of that apprehension to just pick up the pencil and start sketching also comes from fear, which is so silly when you really think about it, because why would you be afraid of putting your pencil to the paper? (laughs) Okay, maybe the idea that you might draw something that looks bad, so you would consider it a failure, but that is a huge part of the art journey, failing over and over again. And honestly, it's something that you should look forward to because when you are failing or making mistakes, you are learning what not to do. And it is, you can listen to people tell you these things over and over again, but until you actually put the mileage in, you really don't get it. So I would like to encourage you guys to continue to persevere through the times when you feel like you're failing and look at them as a good thing. I know that is way easier said than done. But the more you improve, the more you put the mileage in, the less you will feel like you are making those bigger mistakes and they'll become less common. So the more you build your technical skills, the more room you have and energy you'll have for creative thought and problem solving in your artwork, which is really important, especially when you're trying to design your own landscapes For instance, this one that I'm sketching right now is just out of my imagination and I didn't really know what I was doing. So I had to work through it pretty slowly at first and then start to understand how the forms were connected and how the lighting would fall onto it. And that in itself is a lot of problem solving and it's actually kind of exhausting. So don't feel bad if you can only do a few sketches per day and honestly it becomes easier but you know just take it slow at first one reason i'm talking about drawing and posting more drawing and sketching videos is because in my opinion drawing is the most important skill even if you are consider yourself a painter and i think that the better your drawing is the better your paintings will be it's definitely true for me And I know for beginners, a lot of times it's super tempting to just skip a lot of the foundation work and the, and the time that it takes to learn how to draw and just go straight into slapping the paint on the canvas. And and I get it. It's really fun. But if you are serious about getting better and understanding how forms work and lighting and perspective and scale and just making your paintings really strong, then you really will need to learn drawing. So that's why I'm working on the huge comprehensive series of tutorials I mentioned earlier. And drawing is a big part of those tutorials. I also teach you guys how to paint with various mediums, including digital and watercolor and gouache. Uh, Whichever element we're talking about, like rocks, for instance, you'll get a full crash course in how to create and design your own rocks and rock clusters and different types of situations and learn how to paint them. I'm wondering how much you guys would like to see longer sketching videos, something with maybe more of a close-up and showing more of the line work and the details, and 
maybe talking through it or not. It, it's a, I don't know, I could try both versions. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious like how much people enjoy watching sketching on my channel because I know a lot of people are here for the painting. Uh, so please do leave a comment below and, and let me know. That would really help me. I really love how this channel is becoming more of a back and forth, a give and take, where I, I love making videos and posting videos and talking with you guys in the comments and I feel like we are getting to know each other which is really cool. I've met so many amazing people from around the world. Also feel free to stop by my live streams. I do live streams every Monday on Twitch but occasionally I'll do live streams here on YouTube as well. But those are really fun because it's all real-time chat and you guys can ask questions or just talk about whatever. But anyways, I just hope that you guys have fun and maybe you use my videos to inspire yourself or you just have them on in the background for some company, which I do all the time. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to help me out, press that thumbs up button below the video and apparently it helps in the YouTube search function <laughs> so that my videos are seen more and that helps support me. So thank you guys. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. So stay inspired and I'll talk to you soon.